Alrighty, we are going to take apart this BYD E6. Trying to understand a few things. This is the motor controller, inverter and charger. So you can see at the back here, there are four small wires. That's three phase plus neutral from the charge port. There's these two big wires that go to the battery. Um, and then down here are the three phase wires that go down to the motor. This is labeled up as being the DC to DC. And so that is what's providing the 12 volts and also something to do with the AC. So, yep. <clears throat> so we've got motor controller and charger and we've got DC to DC, we've got the motor. So I'm a bit confused about what the bloody hell this is. I don't think it's for baking cakes. It's got pretty fancy looking Amphenol connectors here and here, possibly into the battery. It's got big beefy connectors out either side, which run round and back and down somewhere in here. So yeah, I'm really not sure what this guy is. So the charging, those are the four from the charge port that run off to the front. Um, yeah, quite odd. There's also this, which again looks like some kind of a data lead into the battery. I'm guessing this is the battery itself. That's why I've got the waterproof seal around the cover I've taken off. And then we've got here the distributed BMS controller. This thing does not tell us what it is. So now we've got the car in the air and going in from the front, that is the motor. And my God, is it a big motor? I mean, it's not as long as a Tesla, but it's a bigger diameter. It's a beast of a thing. And then a fairly big transmission. I don't know if you can see it reasonably well here. So that'll be the motor. It's like, almost like a conventional bell housing gearbox mount there. So it'll be into some kind of reduction back here to the diff and then out to the sides. You can see why people have said it's like a Honda on the suspension. It's got a strut and it's got a swing arm at the top. Again, kind of Tesla-like as well. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a bargain basement Tesla. Sure don't drive like one. Um, anyhow, aside from taking the Mickey, there are the main power leads coming from up above down here. So we've got, uh, is there any color on that? We've got, oh, here we go. So we've got negative and we've got positive for the battery. Then we've got the charging leads all end up in one bundle here. And we've got these two, which yeah, again are a mystery. Don't know why you'd be sending high power down there, but we'll probably find out. So yeah, those go into this here, look at the glands. So they go in here. So they, they either join the battery or they run through the car to the back where we saw them before. And then here is the industrially fitted battery. Pretty narrow. The the cross or the the runner that it's bolted to is quite a long way inboard um, and also very industrial bash bar on the front here I almost think that might be aftermarket so <laughs> it's uh hmm, the tin it's bolted to looks very pressed and factory but this does not and these great marks in our battery tray apparently we have to fix if we want to get this car on the road which seems a little unfair but hey never mind and then to the back suspension which is an interesting mix it's not quite a I guess it was a trailing arm um yeah so there you are front to rear of a byd 
some kind of crash sensor out the back. Both sides by the looks of it. Don't walk backwards while filming. So here we are in the BYD battery. We've turned the car off with the 12 volt off. We've disconnected everything we can find, which is this. And there's a negative and a positive over there. And according to the voltmeter, this battery is still on. So um, it's not ideal. So what we're gonna do, we wanna find out if it really is on. So there is a light bulb. Here goes one side into the pit of doom and it jumps straight out. Take two. One side into the pit of doom. Hopefully that's going to stay there. Walk around the other side. Or oh, is the cable going to be long enough? Ah, it fell out. All right, stop the video. Yep, that is definitely still connected to the battery because there is the light shining bright. And we're still on 303 volts and it's holding dead steady. So it's not like we've got a capacitor or any kind of rogue charge. So the only thing to do here is to put those covers back on and have a cup of tea. Still alive. Light. The light was glowing brightly. Oh, okay. So, underneath the BYD lives this strange looking thing, which we can only presume is the battery. Is it like a Lego submarine? An upside down bath? God knows. But what we did find that we didn't know is that there is a disconnect for the pack, which is up under the central cubby hole. You take a plastic cover out of the plastic cubby hole to get to it. And there is also that connector there that you need to remove, which is just down here. But yeah, they went to a lot of trouble to make a lot of space under the seats to make a very ugly looking battery. Oh, and also this top surface, it's plastic. We still have a live battery though, so those two there were 300 volts. Now that we've taken the peg out, they're zero, but it's 200 from one of these peg points to one side and 100 volts to the other one. So yeah, the battery is still angry. Let's take it apart and see if we can calm it down. So we have the battery case off. It's about yeah, three mil, four mil, boingy, boingy, boingy plastic. Comes off quite nicely once you've taken all the bolts and plates off. And this is what you're left with. 92 series, roughly 80 kilowatt hours. Haven't done the numbers in my head on what amp hours that should be. About 300 volts. It is at the moment at 30% state of charge. Um, so I reckon, how many did I say? So it's 40 volts. If you can do your sums, I think that's a 12S. So I think these bigger blocks at the back go one, two, three, four, five, six, six up. So that makes that a 12S. So 40 volts, 40 volts. These are 26 volts, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that make sense? Yeah, let's go with it. Then we've got a 33 volt, which is probably going to be 10. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, of course. And then a 13 volt, which is one, two, three, four. So that'd be a huge RV battery, maybe. Um, and they're wide in series. So one side there is the negative pole. It comes all the way down to me, goes across 
through here, up through the disconnect and the fuse, and out there. So the disconnect is not mid of the, middle of the pack. It's at 100 volts. So all of it back here is 100 volts, all of it over here, and then around there is 200 volts. Now, if you're watching the video off, I uploaded it before, about there being voltage on these two. That was before I knew about this disconnect. However, every single other electric car that I know of, as well as having a safety disconnect, has contactors. So the battery is only live when the car is switched on. See here, we have a fuse. It goes output of that battery, fuse through this guy into there. Everything else is just connectors. On the back of that fuse, it goes through here. Now I'm pretty certain there are no contactors in there because there is no connection. There's no electrical connection. That there is just a little micro switch so that the car knows that the, con that the disconnect is either in or out. Um, I don't see any electrical connection there. This here is just data leads to the BMS. Each block has got its own BMS. Maybe some power because it looks like these are heaters. So I'm guessing there's heaters down at the bottom. But yeah, no, no disconnect. Um, this car has been in a small crash. And so maybe you could understand that the disconnect was not working. However, I don't think it has one. I think that's what all of the... Um, Bollocks, the stuff up there is. Oh, can't get high enough to show you. Um, and so I think this car is pretty unsafe. Um, yeah. Sorry, BYD. You get um, a zero for safety from me. You get very low for driving score. Um, your efficiency is poor. Your range for a 300 for an 80 kilowatt hour battery is pretty poor. It's a car that works, but I, mean, I don't know if you ever saw the clip of Elon being asked about these things by some business news show. And he just started laughing and they're like, what? And he said, well, have you seen the car? Now I understand. I hadn't driven wonderful deja vu for about two weeks after picking up the first BYD. And I drove it this morning. This car, this is still king. So, yep, very sorry, BYD. Hopefully your new ones are a lot better. That's not terrible, but fail on safety, absolute fail on safety. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, you, you shouldn't do it like that.